brought to you by Wikibd Documentaries. Kochi Metro Kochi Metro is a newly inaugurated metro system for the city of Kochi in Kerala, India, and is the fastest metro project in India in completion time. The Kochi Metro project became the first metro in the country which connects rail, road, and water transport facilities. The first phase is being set up at an estimated cost of the foundation stone was laid in 2012, construction work was started in June 2013, and the first phase was open to passengers in 2017. A section of the line from Aluva to Palaravatam will be open to public on 17 June 2017 by Mr. Narendra Modi, the Prime Minister of India. A second section from Palaravatam up to Maharaja's College will be made operational by August 2017. Kochi Metro also includes the technology for driverless trains and is hoping to implement this in the near future. Kochi Metro was lauded for its decision to employ Kudumbashri workers and also members from the transgender community. Kochi Metro is also involved in sustainable initiatives with the introduction of non-motorized transport corridors in the city, installation of solar panels for power and vertical garden on every fourth metro pillar. Apart from the regular tickets, it has also adopted a single card, single timetable, and a singular command and control. This debit card along with the Kochi One mobile app will allow passengers to access all modes of public transportation as well as be utilized for mercantile and internet transactions and will introduce the click and collect feature in the near future, where goods ordered online can be collected in the metro stations. Every Kochi metro station is designed on a specific theme around Kerala culture and geography. Planning the government led by E. K. Nayana ideated the project in 1999. The cabinet meeting held on 21 July 1999, of the then left Democratic Front government, assigned Rail India Technological and Economic Services for the feasibility study for a metro rapid transport system in Kochi. The Techno Economic Feasibility Study for a metro rapid transit system in Kochi was completed in 1999, which was begun in the same year by Rail India Technological and Economic Services. The Techno Feasibility Study Report was submitted to the state government in 1999. On the 22nd of December 2004, the United Democratic Front government led by Uman Chandi assigned the Delhi Metro Rail Corporation the task of preparing the detailed project report for the Kochi Metro Rail project. It was expected to start by 2006 and complete by 2010, but the project was delayed because the central government expressed serious doubts about the economic viability of the project. In 2008 LDF government under the Chief Minister V.S. Achuthanandan approved the Kochi Metro Rail project in a cabinet meeting held on 2 January 2008 and sent to central government for ratification. The Kerala government hoped the centre would approve a funding structure similar to that used for the Delhi Metro, but they were turned down. The union government supported using public-private partnership on the build-operate transfer model. The LDF state government wanted it to be in public sector, which was not accepted to the central government. The victory of the United Democratic Front in the 2011 Kerala Legislative Assembly elections changed the scenario in the state and it was decided that the Kochi Metro would follow the Chennai Metro and Delhi Metro models and would be implemented on a joint venture basis, with investments by the central and state government. A cabinet decision was taken 
to form a special purpose vehicle called Kochi Metro Rail Limited as per orders from Planning Commission and the Union Government for the implementation, operation, and maintenance of the Metro project. The Public Investment Board cleared the project on of March 2012 subject to final approval by the Union Cabinet. The Union Government's share of the cost would be 20.26%, or on 28 March 2012, at a KMRL board meeting, the decision was taken to entrust the Kochi Metro Rail project work to the Delhi Metro Rail Corporation. The number of metro stations on the line was set at 22. On 3 July 2012, Union Government gave final clearance to the project. Then, Managing Director of KMRL, Tom Jose said, Now we will sit down with our valued partner, DMRC, and talk out the way forward, obtaining advice and guidance from former DMRC chief E. Street Haran. We aim to complete the project within a span of three to four years. On 14 August 2012, the state government reconstituted the board of directors of KMRL. Power Secretary Elias George was appointed as the new Managing Director, replacing Tom Jose. It is believed that Jose's differences with Street Haran led to the decision. The then Chief Minister Uman Chandi stated that it was part of administrative decision. The rest of the board would include the Chief Secretary, Finance Secretary, and Water Resources Principal Secretary. The director board of Kochi Metro Rail Limited entrusted MD, KMRL, to find alternate funding options for the project as advised by D. As part of it, representatives of the French development agency met the KMRL team as part of their pre-appraisal mission on 18-19 March 2013. The agency had detailed discussions with KMRL MD Elias George and other senior officials. They also visited the project alignment from Aluva to Peta to understand the project better. Marmemi, Ord Flogny, Regional Director, South Asia and Misty. Gautier Kola, Project Coordinator, India were there in the team, based on the inputs received from the pre-appraisal mission team of AFD. A formal detailed appraisal mission team visited Kochi from 25 to 27 April 2013. The team included senior transport expert of AFD, Mr. Xavier Hoang, AFD Regional Director for South Asia, Ord Flogny and Project Coordinator, Gautier Kola. The team inspected the project site and held discussions relating to the funding for Kochi Metro Rail project. Kochi Metro Rail Limited is hoping to get a final commitment from the French financial agency AFD Agence Française de Développement. By the end of December 2013, AFD has stated that they could provide a loan of up to 130 million euros which is around 10 billion rupees. The next team from AFD is expected to be here in Kochi to evaluate the project during the month of September, 2013. On the 4th of April 2013, KMRL's Director Board signed a contract with the DMRC. The 22 proposed stations for the Kochi Metro were approved by the State Cabinet on the 19th of June 2013. DMRC will have to get the approval of KMRL if it wants to significantly deviate from the technical specifications. Controversy over DMRC's role In December 2011, Kerala Minister for Public Works VK Ibrahim Kunju announced that the work would be offered by Global Tender DMRC MDE Sridhar and said he would not be interested in participating unless the DMRC was involved. Citing the examples of metros in Bangalore and Chennai, he said, they decided 
to take up the work on their own, but had to depend on the DMRC for many things. I did not want Kochi to make the same mistake. On 3 January 2012, Uman Chandi stated that he, Street Haran would have final say on the Metro project. Ariadne Mohammed, Minister for Power and Transport and the Vice Chairman of Existing Board of Directors, said that the Kerala government had decided as early as in March 2010 that Street Haran would be in charge of the project. There are no doubts about this. It was the Kerala cabinet which had taken this decision. And there would be no change in it, he said. Some government ministers and IAS officials alleged that Central Vigilance Commission norms do not allow awarding of contract to an agency which did the consultancy for a project. However, DMRC Principal Advisor E. Street Harin has stated that the CVC norms would not apply in this case, as the contract is between two government agencies. Another issue for the Metro was that DMRC had to obtain permission of its director's board to undertake projects outside Delhi. On 8 January 2013, following a high-level meeting attended by Uman Chandi, Minister of Overseas Indian Affairs Vaila Ravi, Union Minister K. V. Thomas, DMRC Principal Advisor E. Haran, Union Urban Development Secretary Sudhir Krishna, Chief Secretary Jose Syriac, KMRL MD Elias George, DMRC MD Mangu Singh, Union Minister, for urban development Kamal Nath officially confirmed that DMRC would undertake the work of Kochi Metro. Support for DMRC The Corporation of Kochi and Kochi Mayor Tony Chamani supported handing over work to DMRC. The mayor launched a campaign promoting DMRC on his Facebook page. The mayor also launched a website on 24 October 2012. Chamani had stated that, Government of Kerala and the Corporation of Kochi along with the people of Kerala unanimously want the Delhi Metro Rail Corporation to take up the work of Kochi Metro which will be crucial to the growth and development of Kochi City. Opposition parties in the state, on several occasions, expressed support for the DMRC and alleged that corruption and delays would occur in the project if it was not handed to DMRC. JICA asked the KMRL to ensure the support of DMRC on 1 December 2012. Takeshi Fukuyama of JICA said, DMRC has an expertise in implementing the project and so KMRC should take their support in executing the project. KMRC should use the expertise of DMRC for implementing the project. Public support was overwhelmingly in favor of DMRC and Street Haran. On 27 October 2012, Kochiites formed a 25 km human chain from Aluva to Peta, demanding work be handed over to DMRC. The protest was organized by the City Development Committee. Preparatory Work and Supporting Activities The DMRC felt that it was necessary to undertake preparatory works to avoid disruptions to commuters during the construction of the Kochi Metro. The agency suggested five preparatory works to the state government which approved all five projects in March 2010. The preparatory works were intended to be completed before constructing the metro. The works included the widening of three arterial roads and the construction of a new rail overbridge near KSRTC station and a foot overbridge. The AL Jacob Rob near the KSRTC stand, commissioned on 12 May 2013, was the first of the five works to be completed. Apart from the five originally proposed projects, some additional projects such as the construction of the Air Nackel in North Rob and the flyover at Edipali were also carried out. 
The work was being undertaken by DMRC initially, but was later undertaken by KMRL, due to a shortage of qualified personnel with the DMRC. Other projects include construction of a new ROB connecting Mullasri Canal Road and Salim Rajan Road, and the widening of the Town Hall Madhava Pharmacy Junction stretch and Joss Junction South Railway Station Road. The DMRC will execute all preparatory works. The state government has set apart $1.58 billion for preliminary works. On 3 March 2012, KMRL handed over $150 million to DMRC for undertaking the preparatory works. The DMRC had been given $230 million earlier. The DMRC will also build a flyover at Edapoli. A.L. Jacob Robb An overbridge on Salim Rajan Road was planned to be built before commencement of work on the metro itself. Construction of the bridge began in October to November 2011, and was opened to the public on 12 May 2013. On the same day, Chief Minister Uman Chandi announced that the bridge would be officially named A.L. Jacob Robb. It was constructed by CVCCRDs. Road widening and resurfacing The 450 metres Air Narkalim Town Hall Madhava Pharmacy Junction stretch in Banerjee Road had been widened to a 22 metres wide, four-lane road by the end of July 2013. A total of 56 cents of land had to be acquired in the stretch. The work is estimated to cost. Delays in widening the Vitilla Peta Road affected work on the metro's fourth reach. With contractor Irim for engineering unable to start work until mid-November 2013. For the purpose of traffic diversion, KMRL resurfaced 21 roads in and around the city. Kerala Construction Corporation did the work with five-year guarantee using BMBC specifications. For a cost of, KMRL also recruited traffic wardens in different parts of the city to help police to control traffic. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.